we all love cranking up the clarity in Lightroom and I agree that it's an awesome tool to enhance the texture of your images but here's the thing there's a limitation to it you cannot go beyond 100 what if you want to apply 200% clarity or 150% clarity you cannot do that well that's what we're going to talk about in this tutorial there's a workaround for it also you see I'm going to share with you as always some tips and tricks that you need to keep in mind while applying clarity in Lightroom you see clarity is just like a medicine it has to be taken in certain dosage also it has to be taken in certain amounts and only taken if required so without any further ado let's get started So here we are in Lightroom and this is one of the images from the Sun Temple in Gujarat, India. And that's a beautiful place you should go there once at least in your lifetime. Alright, so let's look at the before and after if you're interested. So this is the before and actually this is an HDR of three images. This is the before and so that's why you see a little bit of white border around the corners because it just combined three images. So you kind of have a little bit of border edges, extra edges when you perform HDR. So this is the after and trust me guys, I haven't done too much with this. It's just the basic panel and the tone curve. I have not even yet applied clarity. All right. So to bring out the texture in this image, what's the thing to do? Clarity. So let's go ahead and increase the clarity. But as I increase the clarity, you see the clarity is being applied all through the image, though it's making the image much more beautiful. But what if you want to have clarity just in this area? So tip number one that I wanted to share with you, always apply clarity selectively. All right. Unless if you want to increase texture all throughout the image and you want to draw the attention to every part of the image, apply clarity globally, which is this slider. For all other situations, please apply clarity selectively. All right, so let's bring it back to zero. To bring any slider to zero, all you need to do, you need to double click on clarity or double click on the slider, it will come to zero. Now, I wanna draw the attention of my viewer towards this idol, so I would only apply clarity to this. And that's your way to go when you wanna go beyond 100. So, select the adjustment brush, all right? And the shortcut to this is, K. All right, press K and your adjustment brush will be selected. All right. Now just paint over the areas where you need clarity, where you want the attention of the audience. All right. So clarity is already bumped up to 100. I would request you to just increase the exposure to a random number to see where you're painting. Then we can always bring it back. All right. So this is the area where you want to increase the clarity. This, these are the areas you don't want to increase clarity near the edges. For your images, it might be different. Increase the clarity, especially only in those areas where you want to draw the attention of the viewer. Also, you can always increase the clarity all throughout the image. A little bit of global clarity is okay, but keep in mind, have the most clarity where your viewer wants to see your image. Again, this might differ from image to image. I'm so sorry about that. That when you have a bride, when you have a portrait, then you might want to decrease the clarity just to give that glow effect or smooth effect. Okay, so these were the areas where I wanted to increase the clarity. All right, now once you're done, bring the exposure back to zero. So double click on the exposure. So as you can see, so this has enhanced much more texture in this area. So let's look at the before and after brush. Let's turn off the brush. So this is the before, this is the after. As you can see, so much of texture has been added. Also, one more thing. Tip number two, when you increase clarity, a lot of dark areas are created, areas in which there are no details. So have a look at this area. So there are no details in this area and you want to bring it back when you apply clarity. And guess what? You can do this because when you apply an adjustment brush, it gives you a lot more controls along with clarity. So you might want to increase the black point. Not too much. Not don't go overboard with it, but just a little bit. All right. This much is fine. Also, what you can do, you can increase the shadows. Okay, black point. One experience that I had with black points, when especially when you're applying an adjustment brush, is that within 10 to minus 10, that range is okay when you're applying a brush, all right? So shadows really helps, all right? Yeah, now it's looking great because, have a look. So applying the brush, have a look, this is before, this is the after. It's not creating extra super black areas where you have no details, all right? But what if you want some extra clarity? 
what if you want okay if you hover over it you see which areas are there where clarity is applied so if you want extra clarity all you have to do you have to right click on it and click duplicate now you have 200% clarity but here's the thing since you applied shadows to it it has also been applied and this is making the image overall a little bit brighter so we'll bring the shadows and the black points to zero but clarity is now doubled it's 200% to make it 150% increase it to 50 because earlier we had applied 100% clarity if you want more clarity duplicate again you have more clarity and there will be a saturation point after which you will not be able to notice whether clarity is increasing or not it can be like 1000 percent but you won't be able to notice after like 300 percent or 400 percent so as you can see the sides are a little bit of flat and i want to add a little more clarity what do you have to do you have to go back to the global adjustments and just add a little bit clarity so that it applies to the overall image all right, so this much is fine with an extra clarity over here. So that's your way to go. That's how you apply extra clarity. Sometimes also you might want some extra clarity to particular areas like maybe the face just a little bit to enhance a little more texture, maybe the legs just a little bit. Of course, this is not so much noticeable, but you can have a look as to what is happening. So if I apply clarity just a little bit here and just a little bit to this side, so that's how you double up the clarity. Sometimes what you can do, let's delete all the brushes because there are multiple brushes right now. So we need to delete it multiple times. I'm going to show you one more little thing. So suppose you want to add clarity to particular areas. Then you want to add more clarity to areas that you want to highlight. Here's what I mean. Have a look. So, so let's delete the last brush. All right. So everything is gone, I suppose. So there's no more brush. Now clarity is on 100. I'm apply a little more clarity to the overall image. That's pretty nice. Now, what if I want a little more clarity in the face? So I would zoom in and apply more clarity, create a new brush. Don't forget to do it. Clarity is still 100. All right, more clarity towards the face. In the face. All right, so let's duplicate that. This will create much more text. And you cannot see too much here because, you know, sometimes clarity reaches a saturation point after which you won't be able to determine the difference. All right. So let's zoom out. As you can see, her head is a little more accentuated. So here's what we did up until now. So have a look. So this is before applying the brush and this is after. So this looks much more better. So have a look at the before and after. So this is before and this is after. If you're wondering how am I having this black background, it's simple. Right click on it and select the color that you want. I want it black with this. Now, let's move on to the second segment of the video. Let's explain where do you have to apply clarity and how not to apply clarity. So let's go ahead, boom. Have a look at this image. This image is also an HDR. Well, how do you find out whether an image is HDR or not? Pro tip, have a look. Increase the exposure, crank up the exposure all the way to the right and watch, it's, it goes till plus 10. On any normal images, if you crank up the exposure, it goes till plus 5 on this side, minus 5 on this side. That might be the opposite for you, whatever. Alright, so this is one of the things that's very interesting about HDR images. The exposure range increases. Alright, let's get back to minus 0 0.95. Have a look. So if you wanted to have more texture in the clouds, what would you normally do? Now, if you increase the clarity right from here, watch what happens. Watch. Clouds look nice, but look at this ugly halo effect. This doesn't look real at all. And this looks like back in the old days, we used to do HDR and that's cranky stuff. This doesn't look good. So let's bring back the clarity to zero. We don't want to apply clarity there. Also, if I cranked it up, have a look. How, how did this blackish kind of tint appeared around the street light? Now, as you can see right off the bat, let's bring back the clarity to zero. As you can see right off the bat in this image, there are a lot of spots and there are some spots which are not even visible and when you increase clarity, they become visible. Now, I have an awesome video, well, all my videos are awesome, about removing spots, not just removing, about finding out where the spots are, even if it's not visible to your bare human eye. All right, let's have a look at the clarity side of this. Let's bring it back to zero and we want to increase the texture just in the cloud. So we would add an adjustment brush. Remember tip that always try to apply clarity selectively. 
All right? Not globally. Globally, you can have a little clarity, but selectively to draw the attention and increase the texture to specific areas. All right, so we are applying clarity to the clouds. All right, so let's do it. Let's apply a little clarity right here. And all right, that seems pretty nice. So you're painting with it. All right, amazing. Now, here's the catch. Watch, have a look. When I went near the edges, the halo effect began to appear. So, tip, another tip. I don't know what the tip number is, but here's the tip. Whenever you're applying clarity selectively, make sure stay away from edges. If you go anywhere near the edges, anywhere near a contrasty edge, you will begin to see that halo effect, which you don't want. Have a look. If I crank up the clarity right here, you see that halo kind of blackish thing that you don't want near the headlights. So let's delete from the areas that we don't need clarity in that we want to stay away from edges. So let's delete the clarity. Let's delete the adjustment brushes from the edges. So press and hold alter option to make it minus and just delete it from this area. Look how beautiful it has become now. All right, let's simply delete the clarity effect from these areas. And if you want clarity separately in these buildings, then take a new brush and apply clarity over here. Now the point of the video was extra texture. So for extra texture, you just have to click on this old brush and duplicate it. Right click, duplicate. You have that kind of extra te texture. All right, you might want to subtract from this area and we are pretty much good to go. So let's have a look at some of the examples on how I personally apply clarity in particular images to draw attention and how I multiplied it, duplicated the clarity so that you have an idea on how to apply and where to apply clarity. So have a look at this image. So if I delete this brush, this is all about clarity. Have a look where exactly I applied clarity. I applied clarity in this area, this area to bring out the man's face, to bring out the brightness and the texture in man's face and applied clarity a little bit here and here. So if I delete this brush, okay, let's not delete it. Let's turn it off so without the clarity your images would be like this so as you can see this is not accentuated this area is not accentuated I wanted to m draw the attention of the viewer to what it is Versha light and house paper mart and this man's face all right so I would turn this brush on so pr apply this brush in this area this area this area this area also if you want to accentuate let's delete it let's see whether I had applied two brushes yes I had applied multiple brushes so if I delete this one so three brushes were there. One brush is not enough. So we want to duplicate it. All right, let's duplicate it and paint over the other areas as well. All right. So if you want more brushes, just duplicate it and paint over the other areas where you need the kind of texture and attention. So that's how you apply clarity in Lightroom. So a couple of things to keep in mind while I wrap up this session. Number one, try to apply clarity selectively. A little bit of global clarity is okay, but try to apply it selectively to the areas where you want to draw the attention to. Number two, if you want to increase the effect of clarity, if you want to go beyond 100, duplicate the brush. All right. Number three, Never ever go near the edges. So that pretty much wraps up the session. I'll see you guys in my next one. If this video helped you, make sure to give us a thumbs up and don't forget to just subscribe, but press that bell button so that you don't miss anything. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.